now we want to go ahead and understand when does the demand curve shift so basically the demand curve shifts whenever you are changing those other factors like income like you know taste and preferences like price of other goods etc so we want to now analyze when will the demand curve shift this is a general rule see any factor that does not come either on x or y axis so the factor is neither on the x axis nor on the y axis that factor always leads to shift of the curve whichever curve you talk about micro or macro whichever curve you will talk about if that factor is not on the x or y axis it will lead to a shift of the curve what do i mean by that i mean that when i plotted this demand curve i plotted it between q and p isn't it so any other factor anything other than the price of the commodity like for example income of the of the individual taste and preferences price of other commodities etc any other factor which is neither on the x or the y axis will always lead to shift of the curve any factor which is on the x or the y axis will always lead to movement along the curve so you know for example if you are at point a and price of the product decreases you will move along the curve from a to b because now price has reduced so you will demand more right so any factor which is on the x or y axis always leads to movement along the curve but any factor which is neither on the x nor on the y axis leads to a shift of the curve so the demand curve shows how prices affect quantity demanded other things being equal these very other things that are non price things they are going to basically shift the demand curve when you change those things the demand curve shifts let's take the first example the number of buyers see when there is going to be increase in the number of buyers automatically the total demand in the market will increase so the market demand curve will shift to the right isn't it at the same price you will demand more so take an example here for example here if i add another individual say let's add harry and he demands one unit here you know sorry four units here three units here two units here one unit here zero 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 when you add this together instead of 24 this will become 28 this will become 24 this will become 20 16 12 96 so now instead of you having this uh, you know this point here at 24 you will have this point at 28 so it will shift you know 28 will be somewhere here instead of you having this point at 21 you will have this point at 24 so you know your curve will be shifting it will shift to the right right so basically when the market demand is you know when the number of buyers will increase there is one more person who is going to demand your product if one more individual is going to demand your product the demand is going to increase the demand curve will shift to the right so it's like this suppose the number of buyers increase at each price quantity demanded will increase so the demand curve will shift to the right let's go ahead and talk about the second factor which is known as income of the consumer usually we believe that when income increases the demand increases this is absolutely true right if your income is increasing you will demand more 
बट इन इकोनॉमिक्स वी डिवाइड द टाइप ऑफ गुड्स इन टू टाइप्स वन इज नोन एज अ नॉर्मल गुड एंड वन इज नोन एज एन इंफीरियर गुड a normal good is defined as the good which is positively related to income so usually when your income will increase then your you know demand will increase this is a normal good i am representing income by m so for example let's take anything maybe the demand of chocolates maybe the demand of the food i eat in cafes maybe the demand of books i read when my income increases i demand more of those commodities so they are normal good for me because even at the same price you are going to increase the demand so even when the price is same if earlier you were demanding this much now you will demand more because your income has increased even when price was this much if you, earlier you were demanding this now you will demand more because your price has increased so the demand curve overall will shift to the right at any price whatever your earlier demand was you will demand more if at this price you were earlier demanding this much you will demand more so at any price in an increase in income is going to cause an increase in the demand of the product if it is a normal good but let's talk about inferior goods now so let's say that there is some cable that i may consider as an inferior good and let's say that i may think netflix as a normal good now what i do is when my income increases i decrease the demand of cable and i shift to a better product like netflix right so because with an increase in my income i actually went ahead and i decreased the demand of cable it becomes an inferior good for me so demand for inferior good is negatively related to income increase in income will shift the demand curve to the left you will reduce your demand when your income will increase so in this case what will happen if good x is an inferior good and there is increase in your income level and this is your earlier demand curve then when income increases your demand will decrease and you will shift leftward if that good is an inferior good increase in income will decrease the demand and you will demand less of the commodity here i want to spend a moment on difference between demand versus quantity demanded see demand is due to factors other than price like income price of phone good like income taste and preferences number of buyers market condition etc quantity demand is is always due to own price due to products own price quantity demanded if this changes it always leads to movement along the demand curve if demand changes it always leads to shift of the demand okay all right let's go to the next now the next factor to consider is the price of relative a uh, relative good or relative goods now in this we want to introduce something which is known as substitutes like tea and coffee 
if price of tea will increase people will shift to coffee so the demand not quantity demanded because nothing is happening to the price of coffee so the demand of coffee will increase right so when tea becomes expensive people shift to coffee the demand of coffee increases so you can say that when price of tea increases for the coffee market i am going to see a rightward shift in the demand of coffee demand curve of coffee will shift to the right so when price of tea increases the quantity of coffee will increase so the demand of coffee will increase it will shift to the right similarly when price of tea will decrease people will shift towards tea even coffee drinkers will shift towards tea so the demand of coffee will decrease right so in the coffee market again you will see that coffee demand curve will shift backward okay so for example pizza and hamburgers when price of pizza increases people will shift towards hamburger this is going to increase the demand of hamburger and the demand curve of hamburger is going to shift to the right coke and pepsi laptop and desktop compact disc and music downloads these are all substitutes the other kind of goods are called complement goods complement goods are those goods which are used together like pen and ink so when price of ink increases you know because ink has become expensive and ink is used in pen people will demand less of pen also the demand of pen will also decrease so basically what is going to happen is that in the pen market e pen price of pen quantity of pen it is going to shift inwards so when price of ink is going to increase people will demand less of pen also so the pens demand curve is going to shift backward same is the example with computer and software if price of computer increases people will buy less computer but software is used inside computer only right so people will buy less software also so software demand will also shift to the left college tuition and textbook bagel and cream cheese eggs and bacon etc the next is taste and preferences say all of a sudden there is this um, you know this um, emergence where people want to start consuming health products right healthy products so if people want to start consuming healthy products there is automatically a shift towards health conscious products so that's going to automatically increase the demand of the healthy products like maybe let's say uh, spinach um, juice the demand of spinach juice is increasing because people are becoming diet conscious during covid 19 the demand of coconuts coconut water has increased it has got nothing to do with price and quantity of coconut water it's just that you know people are going growing their taste and preferences towards coconut water so anything that causes a shift in the taste towards a good increases the demand for the good like you know some diet like increase causing increase in demand of eggs therefore you know demand curve of eggs shifting to the right now the next thing is expectations a lot of times people behave depending on the expectations for example if i am expecting that my income is going to increase in the future maybe i will receive a bonus this this year i am automatically going to go ahead and increase the demand of the products it hasn't increased my income hasn't increased just on the basis of expectations that you know maybe my income will increase i will demand more products similarly 
uh, let's say that if there is this um, you know era where uh, we are thinking that the country is in a depression right and the country is not doing that good and you know people think that they're going to lose their jobs there is going to be unemployment maybe people will start reducing their demand and you know start saving money so the demand will decrease so all these cases uh, are the examples where expectations also play a role in changing the demand of people so let's summarize a price is always going to lead to movement along the demand curve number of buyers income price of related goods air taste expectations all of these are going to lead to shift of the demand curve income in itself depends on whether the good is a normal good or an inferior good price of related related goods depends on whether it is a substitute good or a complement good okay let's take one example draw a demand curve for music downloads so price quantity demand of music downloads what is going to happen in each of these scenarios the price of ipod falls now when the price of ipod is going to fall what is going to happen ipod and music downloads are complement goods so when the price of ipod is going to fall then people will demand more ipods people will also therefore do more music downloads so this means that the demand of music download will also increase so the demand curve of music download will shift to the right nothing changed for music download its price and quantity remained the same but people start demanding more of music downloads so a fall in price of ipod shifts the demand curve of music download to the right right let's take the next example the price of music downloads fall so suppose currently i am at this point point a and now it is saying that the price of music download in itself is falling so you are going to new point point b so this is going to go ahead and lead to a movement along the demand curve you will just move from a point with higher price to a point with lower price so you move down along the demand curve with lower price and higher quantity let's take the next example the price of compact disc falls now compact disc can be used to listen to music so because compact disc and music downloads are substitutes when the price of compact disc falls cds people will demand more cds they will not do music downloads so the demand of music downloads will decrease so fall in price of cds will shift the demand for music downloads to the left it will reduce the demand of music downloads